2020 has been not so great for most of us. All of us were locked inside our sweet little homes and the only thing which kept us sane were films and TV shows on OTT platforms. We have seen a lot of amazing series and season finales in 2020 like The Boys, The Mandalorian, Shit's Creek and The Queen's Gambit. All of the endings were so beautiful and amazing that it could keep you on your toes. But for us, the perfect ending was The Queen's Gambit. Netflix's chess series became most loved show of 2020. Before moving on, please subscribe to the channel and you can also join the channel membership where each month we discuss a film at full length and by joining the channel membership you will help us make our next video possible. It is indeed said that all swell that ends well and for a limited series Netflix is the Queen's Gambit proved to be one of the best series with a perfect finale. What makes a series or a film beautiful? Story, direction, cinematography, music and editing. The Queen's Gambit was the perfect blend of all five. Here I am not going to discuss the series but the ending. Why the ending was the perfect series finale of The Queen's Gambit. If you are watching this, it means you have already finished watching the finale and you are looking for people like you who love the series. The series focuses on a young orphan girl who at the age of 13 became a chess prodigy. Beth, who was lonely all her life, not alone but lonely, surrounds herself with substance addiction and alcohol, which also leads to the question whether the substance made her a chess champion or she was a chess champion who became an addict. As Anya Taylor said in an interview that in real life we don't have any arch nemesis. Most people's worst enemies are themselves. Their self-destructive thoughts. And the only way we can win and prove is to destroy our enemy. And how? The same way Beth flushed her pills and went on to game all alone. This proved that there is no magic bat or magic sword. The magic is inside us. She has been preparing for Russian since the beginning and she did it without any pills or any thought. She believed that it was the fog created by the pills that lead her genius in the game but in reality she was the genius trying to find a fog to shift her success to what gives a story a perfect ending is the way the resolution was so cathartic every character every plot line came together in the last episode giving a sense of reconnection whether it was joyline when beth was hitting rock bottom and Tonis when she was all alone in Russia and Benny and Beltic and others helping Beth in her last game as a team which again reminds us in an earlier episode Benny said Russians always win because they play as a team and Americans are all individual the only thing which was missing was Mr Shibel but he made us feel his presence in this episode and even beth did not fail us this time by mentioning the contributions of mr shibel to her life as a chess player while interviewing for times magazine in the end when she defeated bogov the collective joy led to a purging of all the piled up emotions led me as an audience member to rejoice in the glory of not only harman but all the players from us beth harman won She loves winning. But the ending was perfect as she walked in the park where people were playing not in a tournament, just ordinary people playing for passion and joy. Which was the reason Mr. Shibel used to play. And Harman, she reconnected once again with an older figure to play chess just for joy. It was Scott Frank and Steven Misler's cinematic beauty that hooked even someone who knows very less or nothing about chess to this show. Chess became a board game that again became a household name and a companion of the pandemic. Apart from these, the music and editing helped make the show the hottest show of 2020. Sagrayam <laughs>